This is a Wagyu beef brisket. It's big, insanely juicy, and pretty hard to beat. But today we're joined by Guga, so you know we're taking it to the next level. Not only do we have this, but we also have a bison brisket, a pork brisket, and a lamb brisket. I didn't even know there was such a thing as a lamb brisket. <laughs> this thing's tiny, but either way, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. When we think of brisket, it's usually only beef, and comparing the textures and flavors of these four rare briskets is gonna be extremely interesting. We'll start with this incredible Wagyu brisket. Okay, so we have the leaner flat section. And we have the fattier point section. Guga, what's your favorite? Come on, man, fat is flavor, 100%, baby. To trim a beef brisket, square up the sides, leaving a quarter inch of fat on the leaner flat section to keep it juicy, and remove nearly all the fat on the fattier point. Next up is bison brisket. Once again, we have the leaner flat section and the fattier point. This was actually my first time ever seeing a bison brisket, and it had a lot of similarities to a beef brisket despite being smaller in size. So I decided to treat it the same, squaring up those sides and trimming off most of the fat from the point. And just check out that deep red color. It reminded me of wild game like venison or elk. Next, we have the pork brisket. We keep getting smaller and smaller, but again, we have that point and flat section. This one was quite fatty and with great looking marbling. I did some minimal trimming. This looks just about right. Next, we have the lamb brisket. I don't know about you, but these sort of look like lamb ribs to me. I agree with you, but this is what they say on the packaging. Lamb brisket. We're going with it. That's right. There are clearly ribs attached, but looking close, you can see a thin layer of meat that must be the brisket meat. This lamb is also kosher, so it's been heavily salted ahead of time. So we'll have to see how much it affects the final product. No need to trim, this thing is already shrimpy enough. Time to season. And we're using a coarse rub. The coarse texture of this beef rub will help us develop bark, but really any rub will do. Notice that excellent technique from Guga. That man literally has every type of cooking device and ingredients known to man. Make sure to cover both sides and sweep up that extra rub to get the edges as well. Okay, so we're all seasoned up. Let's get them on the grill. But first, most importantly, Guga, do we have any apple wood? No, I don't got apple wood. What? I'm joking. Come on. I got everything, what? Max. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Add them to the grill. We're smoking over apple wood, low and slow. Spent the next few hours enjoying the Florida weather. I mean, just check out those coconuts until the smaller lamb brisket was finished. We then wrapped up the pork brisket to finish the cooking process and re-added it to the grill. Then did the same to the bison. You can see that bark is looking great. Wrapping in tin foil is gonna trap in moisture, hopefully keeping this lean cut of meat nice and juicy. Lastly, we removed the Wagyu brisket and wrapped. We only had a few hours to film together, so had to wrap a bit sooner than I would have liked, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. A bit more time with the coconuts, and we let them continue cooking until they reached just over 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and were nice and tender. As they rested, we placed down each of our briskets, and the smells in that room were absolutely insane. We had the Wagyu beef brisket, the bison brisket, the pork brisket, and the lamb brisket. You can see how even after wrapping in tin foil, we've developed some pretty nice looking bark with a lot of texture due to that coarse rub. Usually I can barely contain my excitement when there's only one brisket to slice into, and today we had four. They looked unbelievable, and it was finally time to slice. And they sliced through like butter. There was a nice thin smoke ring, and even though they were small, they still looked pretty juicy. They almost reminded me of baby back ribs. Next up, Guga got to work on that pork brisket, and this thing was juicy. On this cross section here, you're able to see that fattier point section on the right and the leaner flat on the left. As Guga took more slices, I could tell that this pork brisket was going to be hard to beat. Up next, the bison brisket, which I was most excited to see. I sliced right down the middle, and this thing was like a waterfall. Nice big smoke ring, and visually it reminded me of a regular beef brisket despite being a bit smaller. Lastly, the Wagyu beef brisket. Now putting a Wagyu brisket up against these other three really isn't fair, 
Wagyu has an incredible amount of marbling and it's pretty much always going to be juicy and delicious. While maybe not quite as juicy as one of Nick's creations. How about some sexy brisket b-roll? Let's do it. This still looked amazing. Four unique briskets cooked very similarly are going head to head. And the only thing left to do was eat. All right, guys, we have finally made it and we have four pretty incredible briskets here. What do you think, Uga? I think they look fantastic and thank you so much for inviting me for being this video because I've never had any of these three. I had these a couple of times, of course. maybe a little bit more than a couple of times, but these never had and I'm super pumped to find out what they taste like. Huge thank you to Guga. I'm a big fan of him, been watching his stuff forever. Check him out on YouTube, Instagram, the whole deal. He makes some incredible content. And yeah, thanks for having me. The feeling is mutual. I'm a big fan of you, Max. Thank you, I appreciate that. All right, let's, let's go, go for it. That. Ready? Okay, let's let's just dig in. Yeah. Okay. So. Smell good. Not gamey. No, not at all. Not gamey at all. all Cheers. Right. Cheers. It's tender. It is tender. Salty. Salty. Yeah. So this brisket, ribs, is actually kosher. So it's been salted. Um, it's quite salty, mm -hmm. a little bit too salty in my opinion. It is not a brisket, it's kind of like a, I was gonna say beef rib, <laughs> <laughs> lamb rib. Mm. Yeah, I think for next time we'd probably just put it in water, soak it for a bit. Yeah, I but, agree. All right, so next up we have our pork brisket. Okay, let's go, I'm super pumped for pork brisket. Yeah, mm. juicy. That's oh, yours. not only that, glistening everybody, <laughs> juicy and glistening. That's the difference between, if you know how to do it right and your meat is glistening by the end of the video, you know <laughs> this guy knows how to cook. Right, cheers everybody. Cheers. Oh, that fat, little fat cap on the top right there, that yeah. is money everybody, wow. It's like roasted pork, but better. Mm. Uh, it's typically a lean cut, but as you can see, super, super tender. Uh, the fat's beautifully rendered. I mean, this is this is delicious. 10 out of 10 will highly recommend. Yeah. That's what I would say about that one. Okay, number three, we have our bison brisket. Interesting. Bison, AKA buffalo. Never had it before. Neither have I. Let's go for it. Go. Thank you, sir. Nice and tender, beautiful bark. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, tender. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's yeah. nice. Yeah, quite beefy in flavor, um, not gamey whatsoever. I was I was sort of expecting the lamb and the bison to be gamey. Yeah, but definitely closer to beef. A little bit more flavor even than beef, in my opinion. It's like a powerful flavor. Yeah, I agree a hundred percent with you. Yeah. Okay, let's All go right, for it. The yeah. Honors. Okay. See how it's glistening? Oh, I break apart like nothing. Oh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. My friend Max, I rest my case. Yeah. If you're gonna ask me which one is better, mm. this one is better. The pork comes in second for me, but it is yeah. juicy. It is tender. It is extremely <laughs> flavorful. The beef, of course, is tender. It's delicious, but that fat yeah. with the bark on top completely melts in your mouth. Why do you just hits different? You it's know what true. I mean? It's huh? true. It, it never gets old either. <laughs> mm -mm. No, absolutely not. Just meat sweats. <laughs> uh, meat sweats. There you go. <laughs> If I had to pick my favorite or I'll die, you know what I mean? I'll definitely go with this one right here. For me, it's a better overall experience if you've yeah. never even tried it before. But I'll tell you one thing, I've eaten this quite a bit. This right here, the pork yeah. is delicious. We pulled it probably 10 degrees short of like pullable pulled pork. So it's still sliceable for uniqueness. I'm going with the pork. All right, favorite on three. One, two, three. Wagyu. I'm going with the pork. We're Today? Gonna, we're agreeing to disagree on we this We agreed one. to disagree. There's nothing wrong with that because I think both of them are winners. Absolutely. All right, well guys, that wraps it up. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to Guga for being here and allowing me to cook Make sure you, you. Make sure you hit that like button, everybody. Very important for the algorithm. Let them know, Max. Absolutely, appreciate it, guys, and we'll see you next time. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. Take Let's care. Go.